this is Nivedita I am here on behalf of Skillshark today and on this day we are glad to host Mrs Huma Sayed Firstly ma'am we wish you a very happy teachers day on behalf of all our viewers and students we are glad to have you here you with so us much. today Thank you so much Nivedita glad Thank to be you, there ma'am. with you I would like to take an opportunity to introduce you to our viewers Huma ma'am is an entrepreneur an eminent teacher and a mentor with everlasting milestones As an entrepreneur she is the CEO of Bookstackers Publishing House publishing books for school students in ICSE schools in India UAE and Indonesia her milestones as a teacher are remarkable she is an eminent teacher and was awarded the Derosio award for education and human enrichment in 2019 that's an award for two teacher council for indian school certificate examination she was also awarded the best teacher award in 2019 and the list goes on and on She is a postgraduate in environmental management from IIS WBM Kolkata. She is currently working as a teacher at Nasr Boys School in Hyderabad, thus empowering thousands of students every year towards achieving a greener world. She has been a judge and panelist in many events. Without any further ado, let's hear it from her on the evolving role of a teacher. Uh, so, Devedit, uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, uh the role of the teacher is very eminent and it has been eminent uh, uh in the past and uh, present as well as it will be there in the future so uh, uh the teachers not only teach they become mentors they become uh, uh the guiding force the friends and sometimes uh, students also confide in them especially in the times where uh, parents both the parents are working and um, uh, they have a little less time for the uh, children the role of teacher in developing the student has uh, become much more uh, because uh, the students are there in the school with the teachers for a long time and uh, the interaction uh, and the care and the Uh, support that the teachers could lend to the students is very very important so uh, not only the education uh, part but developing various skills in the students is very important uh, sure. uh, to see the child and develop them and take them out and hone them so that that's uh, how i feel thank you so much for the insight ma'am it is generally said that teachers have three loves love of learning love of learners and the love to bring all of them together so how did your journey as a teacher started and what persuaded you towards this career perspective um as uh, already said i was into the field of uh, environmental management uh, but somehow i um, uh, i did not pursue that field and i uh, uh, i got into teaching so it was by chance that i came into teaching but then the love for teaching developed and uh, the thing that uh, you can do so much for the future generation you can train them you can uh, uh, you can really work with them uh, has motivated me to become a teacher and uh, 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 there there has been uh, a lot of motivation from the children itself uh, when i joined as a teacher i was not actually trained so much uh, eventually i got uh, my ba done and uh, that was just a degree uh, to my teaching career uh, the the le- learning came basically from the uh, from the students itself so when i joined the school i was not much uh, into computer literacy and all way back in 2008 when i joined nasa boy so um, uh, but the thing was that i wanted to do everything for the students and the learning process for me started along with the students so uh, when i started teaching teaching the subject so i felt that at that point of time the subject of environment was little uh, dry for the students and uh, to make it more interesting i started making ppts and all and uh, then when i was given the subject of environmental uh, application and environmental science to teach in the school uh, there was no book for the subject uh, in india Uh, uh teachers were mostly teaching with notes and also i thought that i'll do something concrete for the students uh, where uh, the students can benefit and uh, that's how i started doing the book 
so this book basically was made for the students and um, when you can read the mind of the students you can come down to the level of the students and you can formulate a book uh, which is very student friendly so my book is very student friendly and uh, according to the level of the child uh, and that is the reason why it is very popular and the students are scoring 10% in the subject and uh, after the coming up of the book many students have started because this is an optional subject in icsc uh, uh, it's not compulsory so uh, after the coming up of my book the the number of students who have started taking the subject of environmental science and application has increased a lot and that gives me a, a lot of pleasure that uh, this subject being important uh, in the future more so because we are facing a lot of Uh, challenges in climate change and all these uh, uh, stuff so uh, sustainability lot of things so uh, uh, this subject if we introduce at the level of the school uh, it uh, means a lot uh, because uh, students are uh, already have the students already will have an idea Uh, about all these things and when they do their uh, higher education uh, they would want to go into um, uh, these uh, fields because the future belongs to them right what they yes. what they want to do and how they want to live their life with a sustainable and a pollution free uh, environment because it is actually affecting uh, in uh, various ways like the health the uh, climate the uh, uh, natural calamities that are happening many of these things are attributed to the environment so um, it's very important i feel that the children uh, of this generation understand and uh, start looking for um, start looking for things which will help them uh, in the future in terms of their health and the environment uh, etc so uh, i started writing the book and when i started writing the book there were uh, there were publishers uh, were not available like it was an optional subject and they didn't want to uh, take up the book uh, because uh, they didn't know how many books they could print and sell it was about profit profitability for them so then i thought that why not uh, uh launch my own company and that is how i launched my own company and um uh, by god's grace uh, uh, it, uh it's not about profitability for me uh, going to uh, publishing the book and then um, being awarded by the council uh, for my work and many other people so uh, that that has really been a journey for me if i look back it gives me a lot of happiness and self satisfaction Yeah. Ma'am I don't think we can ever thank you enough for the work you have done for human resource development in India like enriching them publishing your own book out of selflessness only for the youth to follow is a big step that you took and like the generations to come will admire you for that and as you said teaching is all about training the future generation a saying goes that a teacher affects the eternity one can never tell where the influence stops so do you ever feel overwhelmed when your students do a good impact to the society or gain laurels in different fields yes of course that's a, uh, that's the biggest gift a teacher can get from a student like we are really really happy to see our students uh, doing well in different fields and when they come back to us and say ma'am i have uh, done this so it's like uh, the achievement is uh, there but the part of their achievement is ours too like we never tell it to them but uh, we feel that uh, maybe even we have contributed a bit Uh, motivated a bit that has led uh, to their journey and it gives us uh, immense like uh, you cannot express that feeling in words the happiness that you get when your students uh, achieve and they come back to you and tell you what they have done so you feel that you are still there as a teacher but your students have gone ahead and they have achieved a lot uh, uh, it, it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, really uh, amazing to have that feeling that the best reward a teacher can have i guess this like pushes many students that they do better and well in their life so that their teacher can feel as proud as you feel about your students and their achievement it feels so good when you tell about how glad you feel when your students are doing good in their life
yes and uh, you know often sometimes students Uh, come and sometimes they feel that uh, we might have forgotten them and uh, what they did but uh, you know we remember uh, uh, many of the things that they have forgotten they have done in school and those memories when we share they feel uh, very happy ma'am you remember those things that we did and um, uh, they uh, they tell us that ma'am this school life what we have learned uh, with you um, uh, has Uh, made us what we are what we are able to speak what we are able to do uh, you are a part of it so ma'am when as you told when you started teaching there were hardly any notes or books available and you teached from whatever resources you could have attained at that moment so today teaching with technology can deepen student learning by supporting instructional objectives what is your view on making teaching and learning productive with using technology uh um, uh technology uh, has become a very important tool in today's life uh, especially uh, this pandemic has taught us a lot um, where the teachers have also learned um, uh, learned the use of technology even more although it was being used but uh, then this use uh, was uh, 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 to a certain extent right and um Uh, not all the teachers have the access to these kind of technologies so uh, and not all the students uh, if we talk about uh, the uh, the scenario in india most of the students like who are living in the cities and all uh, they were uh, and those schools the high end schools and all who have these smart boards and all these uh, uh, technology which they were using so they were well adapted to uh using the technology to their benefit uh, but uh, this pandemic uh, many uh, many other schools have joined in and the teachers have really adapted very fast uh, to the situation and they have uh, taken up technology for doing their online classes and whichever platform uh, they are using they have adapted to it and they are really doing a good job and uh, students also they have adapted but um, then again uh, there is um, uh, like uh, students have to learn like when uh, the teaching should not be just one way where the teachers are just giving and students are receiving now the time has come where the students even at the school level uh, they should take the help of these uh, online uh, material but then we need to teach them uh, uh, which are the proper sites to choose from and uh, not every information that is available on the net is correct so yes. that is the role uh, where the teachers will have to step in where they have to uh, tell them that okay there are information available but everything is not correct so how to choose it and uh, how to use that information so uh, now the teaching um, uh, Uh, like earlier also the students like they used the resources but now the use of resource has uh, become uh, uh, much more uh, important to them and uh, but uh, the another uh, the other thing that i feel is that the interaction the human interaction uh, is very important uh, for the time being it's uh, okay for us to use these technologies but uh, at the school level it's very very important the human interaction is very important because it's not only about teaching it uh, it's the interaction the social skills the uh, skills that the students learn at school uh, are very important uh, maybe at the higher level um, it it can uh, it it, it it is a tool which will supplement the regular teaching but yes. uh, we feel that uh, still uh, the young minds have to be under the guidance because we cannot leave them uh, with technology uh, on the other side and uh, unmonitored and yes. uh, leave them to learn so and gauging what they have learned is another aspect of uh, the online teaching so uh, things are about to change but how much um, uh will it change and how much um uh, will it help the students in all the ways because you know it's not about the online teaching uh, uh, as such the students need to experiment the yes. real life things so that is where we uh, require so it 
it is always there to supplement and uh, uh, you know uh, when we started these uh, online teaching we understood a lot of things we are teaching different things to the students uh, like we are teaching them how to write an email uh, so in the english class they are learning to uh, uh, write uh, email or formulate an email but uh, in the computer class they might be learning different um, uh, Uh, uh software or whatever uh, they might have learned uh, the uh, things like sending an email but when uh, it was like a practical thing for them to send us assignments uh, through the email i felt that uh, they are still not um, uh, well versed with sending because there's a missing link over there so uh, yes. then we understood that these things have to be linked um, so uh, personally i took a class for my students where i taught them how to send an email formulate an email so it it has to be a bridge so there are many things that the students have to still learn um, which the students did not do earlier like uh, they were never adapted to typing and all so now they have to learn the skills of typing Um, so that if they have to send their assignment in the future, so they have to get future ready in that case. So technology is uh, playing a big role now. Like earlier in our times, we used to go to the libraries, look for the books. Now digital libraries are available. So yes. the students should have these information that what are the resources that are available for them. Um, then there are many uh, uh, webinars that they can att- uh, attend. so uh, there are life skill uh, webinars then communication skills so all these things there are online courses for the students so uh, these courses are of course uh, at the level of the college level uh, like uh, for the college students um, i have seen but that also should be there for the students uh, which uh, the students can uh, uh, learn from these at uh, uh, um, like early early Young stage age. itself they start yes yeah these skills so uh, so things have to change for the uh, students at the um, school level also those uh, things have to be so these inputs have to come from the school from the teachers um, the use of digital libraries and uh, they they can go to the blogs they can write their own uh, stuff on the blog and uh, so how to uh, get information from the resource that that is uh, one of the key things and how to choose and apply it uh, in their education and life they have to learn that so definitely ma'am well. So ma'am as you said that during this pandemic the education system has drastically shifted to online mode of teaching and technology gives access to a large resource uh, and courses that student can take apart from their general schooling or their college studies but on the same time in the same time there is also major distractions that come along with the technology So, what is your advice for the students about how to deal with uh, distractions and classes together, and how should one maintain that balance? Um, uh, my advice to the students is that uh, you need to enjoy. Uh, uh, they are still young, and they uh, want to experiment with so many things. So, like, uh, they should be allowed to do that. They, they need to have their own time where they can explore, play games with their. Uh, friends were uh, they like to play online games and they like to uh, go to different sites and uh, see the uh, see other other stuff also which is of their interest maybe somebody some of some children might be um, uh, uh, like uh, more interested in uh, um, some of the like uh, car racing or yes. cricket or it can be technology so uh, they should be allowed to do that and when they they need to learn that when they are um, doing their classes they have to give their 100% and after that they can have their free time and they can explore whatever they want uh, so this is my advice to the students that um, uh, give 100% wherever whatever is your uh, uh, area of interest uh have uh, segments uh, in a day where you can do different things and uh, so that will help them to be more organized and focus on various things along with their uh, studies so it should come from within the students that i need to do yes. this and i should be motivated to do this it should not be pushing from the teachers or from the parents so uh, 
uh, at some point this level of understanding and self motivation has to come and then uh, always the teachers and the student uh, parents uh, have to involve themselves and help them chalk out a plan for for them and talk to them basically yes uh, what they need to do thank you for that insight and advice ma'am i am sure many of us even me included would try to follow that in our lives so as you will have the first hand experience of that all students can learn and succeed but not in the same way and definitely not in the same day as albert einstein once said and i quote everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid what do you think is the greatest challenge faced by students and teacher with increasing competition in today's world without giving up on his or her uniqueness um uh, it, it is uh, um like uh, a point of self realization what we need to do now what happens in our setup is that students do not realize even till their grade 8 9 10 what they uh, want to do uh, what is their area of interest so when i speak to the students sometimes what you want uh, what do you want to do uh, after your grade 10 so sometimes they are like we don't know so i don't know uh, uh, like Uh, i have a feeling that uh, from the very uh, early stages maybe from the uh, primary classes itself the students have to be exposed to different kinds of things like uh, uh, we uh, in the indian setup we are uh, uh, just running behind the curriculum we are not giving enough time to the students to find themselves right so yes. like uh, uh, if we, uh, uh, and the same thing is going on um, uh, in different classes in a little higher manner for example if you take plant life so it will be there in class 3 uh, uh, then class 5 uh, then it will come to class 6 7th 8th 9th same things goes on repeating but uh, uh, although the knowledge is being added um, bit by bit but then uh, what i feel uh, we can like one class uh, 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 they can just have the uh, practical knowledge on the same uh, thing and uh, so that uh, reduces the load of the curriculum while giving them uh, real hand experiments so why not have uh, classes like uh, 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 do this to uh, like where students can grow their own food so uh, that could be a learning and uh, uh, how how can they uh, learn different things like uh, find their uh, the interest like if we give the students like uh, from the primary classes itself like we can have different activities simple activities like you can give a, a, a lego set and you can uh, uh, give them uh, models to make or uh, you can give them those uh, i hope all the all of you must have played with those uh, mechanics like uh, that that uh, thing the toy that comes right so uh, you can give them to the child and uh, tell them to create Uh, you can give them clay to uh, give clay to the students and uh, ask them to make models so uh, then the students you can show them uh, different kinds of films historical you can uh, uh, give them literature you can uh, expose them to uh, uh, newspaper reading and finding out words and so students at early stage will be able to find their interest like okay i i i want to go towards something related to biology uh, uh, towards nature or i want to do engineering or uh, uh, like um, uh, we have been teaching um, mathematics so why not give them uh, uh, money notes uh, in their hand and uh, teach them addition subtraction so they are leaving they they they'll be learning life skill and they'll be finding their interest so uh, the st- teachers could be just the spectators uh, and uh, find out their interest so um, these things uh, i feel are missing in our um, curriculum um, so like uh, in the indian system we are just re- running behind the curriculum we need to finish the curriculum in so and so time and uh, that's how we are going and the parents want the marks and finally getting into some good college so this is not giving the students the space to realize uh, what they are good at so uh, this is uh, 
uh, how uh, like i would like and uh, the students have to the schools also have to gear up for that and give space to the uh, children mam being a student i can definitely assure you the ma- major complaint that comes from our side is our assessment is based on just a pen paper examination and not on the skills that we are attaining so sometimes a student might or might not be interested in a particular subject but he needs to just finish it off just to pass his curriculum so uh, coming to the curriculum what is your personal views on the new educational policy announced by the government uh, the new educational policy like there are uh, many things to it like um, they uh, have uh, one thing that they have said that students should learn in their own mother tongue that's uh, quite right but then we have choices still it's not that we don't have choices we have uh, uh, schools in uh, different medium like here we have schools like if you talk about hyderabad we have schools in um, uh, telugu medium we have schools in uh, urdu medium we have uh, schools in english medium so um, uh, it should be left uh, uh, left uh, as a choice right and in a country like india where people are moving from place to place suppose a student is studying in north and he is taught the primary schooling has been done in suppose punjabi and then he shifts to south so like the child will be lost so here english gives a um like it, it gives a uniform fabric but it, it doesn't mean that the students who have done uh, in english um uh, uh, are uh, at a higher level than those who have not done in the other curriculum i have seen uh, like i have been judging many of the uh, science phase and all and uh, at the uh, student level like uh, regional school phase and also i have seen that the students who have studied in other uh, vernacular language schools and all uh, even they have potential but many of the potential like it it is be it is not being projected and yes. they are lost somewhere so those students have to be brought to the limelight also and they have to feel that yes we are at par with the students who have done in any other medium so that is one part like uh, i feel but then um, uh, the uh, uh, another thing that was there was that the students can choose any uh, subject that they want uh, but uh, if uh, if the students are given a choice at a very young age uh, the students may not know what to choose so yes. in that way i feel that uh, what we are doing right now we are giving a bit of everything to the students still uh, like in icc we have a choice till starting from class 9th uh, right so uh, from there we segregate the students can choose um, uh, uh, only science they if they don't want to study mathematics they need not study mathematics they can go for commerce and uh, other subjects so we have got um, uh, provision for choice but if you yes. give these choices very early uh, the student does not know what is on the platter right so the student needs to have uh, a taste of all the subjects on a platter and then they then they need to choose what they like right so sure. uh, uh, and uh, uh, because the indian students are uh, studying so many things i feel Uh, their minds are being sharpened at the school level and that is how we are able to adapt um, very fast to any situation anywhere in the world and uh, uh, because our minds are working in many different fields and we have knowledge of many different subjects uh, uh, a few things are very good um, uh, th- uh, th- there is uh, there are not only the negative things the uh new educational policy they have uh, good things also like a student if they are not able to uh, continue up to certain uh, class they can uh, just uh, take a break and then they'll be getting a certificate all those things are good and the focus on the um, uh, uh, skills like uh, uh, hands on experience the experimentation and um uh, critical thinking collaboration all these things that they have brought in uh, they are really good um 
but uh, uh, to make it successful uh, we have to train a whole lot of teachers also behind that yes. so uh, uh, so we will have we will i think we'll take some time to shape up the whole thing so there can be a little pros and there can be a little uh, good thing but uh, of course there's a time for change for us too so yes ma'am definitely so ma'am as you told a lot of examples to us about how a student can learn clay modeling or calculations could be done by giving them notes and many other techniques when a student can take the lead in the student teacher partnership in the course of learning so as it is said that education should go beyond the four walls it does not need to be concise inside it so what extra curricular activities do you suggest for the students to take up in order to develop their overall growth and not just studies um overall growth of the student and the extra curricular activities are very very important uh, uh during the uh, especially during the school days right because they are developing their personality so according to the skills they have some students uh, and especially uh, like when i am teaching the boys school the boys have a lot of energy they like to play they, so uh, uh, these things are very important the physical activity is very very important uh it can be boys or it can be girls uh, they, they, these help you to develop uh, like um uh, a good health as well as your confidence um so physical activity is really important for the children for the outlet of their energy then uh, the other thing according to their interest they should not be pushed into anything if the child is interested in uh, debating or um, uh, uh, oration so uh, let them go to that but uh, they should not be forced these days what is happening the parents they are forcing their children they enroll them into various classes and uh, it becomes a burden for the child the yes. child has to study they have to cope up both with those extra curricular activities so let these extra curricular activities be like a hobby which they enjoy and they develop uh, along with their uh, uh, education you can say and uh, it should be an outlet Uh, for them where they can de stress with these extra curricular activities as well as develop themselves and it should it shouldn't be a burden so uh, and another thing that i see um, which has been going on since many years uh, students are pushed into these coaching classes from the yes. grade age uh, in order to get into neat or uh, jwe or stand somewhere so uh, this is a very very bad practice that i feel uh, students should not be pushed tend to that right this is their time to enjoy and develop themselves um, uh, this is the time where they are developing their communication skills their so- social skills their um, their uh, uh, like uh, 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 physical phys- physical important uh, activity is very important so all these skills that they are dev- they are supposed to develop um, uh, is uh, not being Uh, able to come out because they are sent into those coaching classes uh, uh, it's good to get into iit but then uh, the children are missing out on these things and um, of course uh, later on they can do where, where, when they get into iits and different colleges or medical colleges but these years are the formative years and students should not be pressurized okay if they have such a name that they should go into specific things they can uh, take another year uh, the, uh, it doesn't matter if you take another year and attempt uh, give a second attempt if you want to go to certain things but these years should not be lost because these years are very important in uh, the life of a child and he should be uh, he should be able to enjoy and develop himself so uh, that is my take over it they are basically sacrificing their ch- teenage over these coaching classes yes i i think many of the students and many of you sure. will be able to resonate with that right yes ma'am ma'am listening to your perspective about extra curricular activities and hobbies i couldn't stop myself but i want to ask that what was you, the extra curricular activity you involved yourself in as a student or even now what is your hobby that you take part in yes okay so there's a, this is a question which is rarely asked to the teachers right so uh, when uh, when i was in school um, i uh, used to 
uh, be in sports right i uh, i was uh, up to my college level i have uh, one um, certificates and prizes in javelin throw in athletics in basketball and throw ball right and uh, uh, so i was doing a lot, lot of sports um, i was into dramatics uh, till my college starting from my school level till my college level i was in um, uh, dramatics i did quiz i did pantomime i did i did um, um, i sang i danced i did craft uh, i did paintings i did not leave anything uh, so uh, and those those things have added to my personality right and uh, how i perceive things and how i take up challenge and whatever i do uh, is basically i feel uh, a, a reflection of all those things and uh, because i have done so many things i want my students to do so many things as well as take up education um, i uh, like till my class 10 i may not have been the topper of the class but i have done so many things that i can look back and enjoy that i have done so many things and um, it, it's a sense of pride also for me that i have done so many things uh, um, uh, so uh, Uh, it makes you uh, it, it it makes you uh, a lot um, uh, like uh, not a boring person uh, basically not a ba- boring person and you can do anything you 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 get a lot of positivity and uh, yes, you can enjoy those later also when you talk to your students about these things that you have done they also get inspired and they say okay it's okay to be a mediocre and then you any mediocre student it's not that the students who are just uh, who are just the top as they can achieve in life from my sure, life yeah. experience from being uh, a mediocre student but learning many things in life i have come to a position where i i have done something in life which i which i have enjoyed and uh, people know uh, me for that ma'am i'm sure th- these words of yours are really going to inspire the youth to take up you know all the extra curricular activities and forget about this competitive world for a while when they can enjoy it at their best because once they get into the corporate life and everything right. ahead it is just going to vanish away and the things you did in all the multidisciplinary domains is just reflected in your persona the way you are dynamic cheerful it is just so great to even be a part of this conversation with you uh, thank you so much <laughs> so ma'am as we talked about that extracurricular activities and interests and hobbies build up a persona family is the first environment a child grows in and pick up from more than just books so how can a parent build up an environment for a child to learn and become a better person um parents of course have a very very important role um uh, uh these days like sometimes i feel that we are moving into a different world where the parents uh, both of them like to focus on their um, uh, careers and everything so at home they should have the support of the family so from the nuclear family we should go back where we have our own people uh, with the children um, uh, uh, to um, to guide them and see uh, what, see what the children are doing so it's not like uh, providing the children with the materialistic things like the toys and the gadgets and leaving them feeling that uh, 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 we have given them so many things and they'll be happy but ultimately that's not happiness i feel because sometimes having sure. all those things children are uh, children are um, um, uh, feeling children do feel lonely because left out. Uh, yes, left out because sometimes they do not get enough time uh, from the parents so that the time that the parent uh, uh, should give to the child is very very important so um, being busy you have to be with your child you have to talk a lot with your child right whatever you give them uh that will of course help them like uh, they will explore they will learn on their own and uh, everything like uh, but uh, being a friend with your child is very very important the child should be able to open up and speak to you what is going on uh, within the child uh, uh, like uh, parents um, 
not all parents i should not categorize everybody in the same thing sure. but yes but it uh, it happens that the child the parent does not know what is going on uh, with the child so many a times they take our support like uh, because they keep telling the students keep telling to us what is happening so um, uh, the parent should uh be like a friend they should talk more often so that they know what is going on in uh, like uh, uh, within the child uh whether they are uh, feeling lonely uh, where whether they are depressed because there can be many instances in their life which they will not be able to tell anyone unless there is a day to day communication so in that aspect it is very important for the parent to talk and so uh, um uh, you can be with the child you can have specific time or you can take weekends or whatever you have to make a uh, uh, plan make how you with have to make bonding with them and see that your child and not only uh, uh, project your expectation uh, uh, to the child right like to uh, parents have their expectation and knowingly or unknowingly they convey their expectation and um, in the early years like they are too much with the students and they are involved and then the students score very well but once they start growing bigger um, the students uh, are slowly left on their own and then that is the time where um, uh, students and maybe when they are given the space the students sometimes they are not able to perform as well as they were doing so they start getting into depression um uh, and uh, some uh, some parents they want their children to be involved in all the activities they uh, they push them a lot so the child goes back they don't want to do they want um especially in the teenage they want themselves to be left uh, so that they can do whatever they want interact with the uh, with their peer or uh, find something of their interest so pushing them too much into uh, what you want them to do uh, is not good so that also breaks the communication between the parent as well as the uh, child so not to only giving them the material things or sending them into different classes um uh, uh, sports classes or whatever uh, it's not only that uh, uh, that uh, will develop their child it's uh, basically the communication and the parents have to be a role model themselves they have yes. to um, they have to uh, uh, be what they want to see in their child so um, the humility the um, Uh, goodness in you should come to the uh, child so whatever is your ideology will be reflected in your child so you have to be very careful in that aspect also so uh, uh, many many a times like uh, uh, parents uh, want to um, develop their child in certain sport so okay uh, maybe they want uh, them to go for badminton or cricket or this that so they are going but what is their skill do you know what is their skill exactly. uh, whether their skill is in a particular sport so the child is going but you never know his skill might be in some other uh, thing so that finding that skill and um, putting them into the right places according to their skill is also important and not pushing them into art class followed by music class and followed by the sports uh, uh, in week they'll have uh, two classes for this two classes for that and uh, they may not be enjoying that right it might be too hectic so um, there there has to be a communication and bonding to develop the child uh, from the parent side and they should not be uh, left alone um, uh to find their ways there has to be guidance also yes ma'am definitely i hope parents pick this piece of advice from here because this is really really important these days because as you can compare a child with a you know blossoming plant and plant should have its own space to grow properly so space guidance everything is required together and i hope this message goes as far as possible because it is important in today's like fast forward moving world when everyone is busy with their own lives so as um, we know everybody yeah yes. uh, one thing i want to say that everybody will achieve uh, whatever uh, they want to but that building of that confidence building of healthy habits building um, uh, of a good lifestyle 
all these the parents uh, can give and uh, like the students uh, or the children they have to uh, learn from their parents and uh, you want to ask any more questions or <laughs> there is just what would be the message you want to give the final message you want to give to parents and students on this special occasion and an insight from the teacher's perspective about how should a world be yeah so uh, uh, the message uh, i want to give to the students and parents or whoever is listening first of all we must look after our health right a good health uh, will lead to a good mind if we do not have a good health and that i think we have realized in the pandemic right so uh, a good health is very important for that a uh, good lifestyle is important right uh, uh, we must have a um, uh, we must have our uh, daily um, uh, plan for the day right that i should get up at certain time i should do this and then this 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 we should not uh, as the day comes we should not um, uh, do the day as it is Uh, like get up any time and do eat whenever we want and then uh, watch tv or do whatever we like but we have to organize ourselves and this organization will lead to healthy lifestyle in terms of good health as well as focusing on the things you want to do so uh, a proper planning for the day should be there um, uh, then uh, in terms of career uh, the children should be allowed to choose their um, uh, uh, career and whatever whatever the child is doing whether it is in any of the field the child has to identify his interest and um, find a niche in that career and uh, what new things he can do in those fields um, the child should uh, set a goal for himself and Uh, he should understand what will lead to that goal it's not that you have a goal and you don't know how to reach the goal so and you have to look at people around you who can help you realize that dreams in terms of guidance we may have a dream but how to go about it nowadays again technology is there you can have resources and find out what you need to reach your goals but of course teaching to be sorry learning from people who are more experienced uh, than you um, is important so reach out to the people who can help you out uh, in reaching your goals and uh, when uh, you are into your uh, um career or uh, wherever you are you cannot stagnate yourself you have to keep on upgrading yourself in terms of learning uh, and uh, learning your subject or uh, whatever you are doing and as well as learning uh, the skills you are required to progress so when you become stagnated you will not progress so your mind should uh, uh, keep on moving and finding new things in your own field and the world is moving very very fast so we really need to upgrade ourselves and keep ourselves with time so uh, these are the things that i would like to tell to uh, the students parents and whoever is there hearing me out thank you so much ma'am i cannot thank you enough for inspiring the nation the world or more importantly the humanity in itself and i hope you keep teaching and inspiring the generations to come with your knowledge because you never know when your knowledge is going to cease every knowledge every piece of bit you impart on us would be carried forward by the generations that we will be going through so thank you so much ma'am for this precious time that you shared with us it means a lot to us thank you so thank much thank you so much nivedita uh, i am happy to be there with you all and wishing you all the best in all your future work thank, thank you. you so much